Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new to the channel, this is the channel where I cover two of my most favorite hobbies, that is statue and figure collecting and reef keeping. Today in this video, I'm going to share a couple of tips as far as introducing new fish to your tank. Uh, as you can see in this tank here, I have a yellow tang, a purple tang, a cold tang, and five liar tail antheus a damsel, two clownfish, a limerang rash, and one splinted uh, dotty back, and a mystery rash. Now, you would think, wow, you know, it must be tough to keep these two tangs in the tank. Actually, you know, these are not the only tangs I've had in this tank. I've also uh, had a bristle tooth tang in this tank and a hippo. And the tangs are really haven't been that aggressive. I know there's a, a lot of talk on the you know, on the web that you can't keep you know, two zebra somas uh, together. You, you can't have a purple tang and a yellow tang. You can't have a couple yellow tang. I had a couple of yellow tangs in this tank before, and it's all about the way you introduce them. And of course, it's also helpful to have a little bit of background on the fish before you buy them, if if possible. So if you're getting them from your local fish store and they've been there a couple of weeks and you know, usually they don't try to split up the tangs or anything. They're living together in that tank. So, uh, you know, obviously, you know, no, there's no bloodshed inside of the tank. And if you're really close to your local fish owner, you can really get a good story behind them. So I think it starts there, you know, if your tang or, you know, or whatever fish is living with others of its kind and it's pretty much a uh, peaceful environment, then you have better luck uh, from that one than uh, some fish who maybe come straight from the ocean and you don't know much about. But, you know, ironically, the tangs aren't, aren't the toughest, you know, when introducing. I mean, these are, you know, animals at the end of the day and it's pretty unpredictable. You never know which fish is not going to get along with the next fish. And by far and large, you know, my uh, most toughest battle or the, you know, most brutal introduction into this tank was when I was introducing uh, my mystery rats here. Actually, there were two of them and one of them didn't make it because I had to, to split him uh, from this tank and uh, he wound up getting ill in another tank. But when I first introduced my mystery rats into this tank, that splendid dotty back just, oh, immediately went out to, after those two mystery rats fish. It was blood in his eye. I mean, it was the craziest thing I had ever seen as far as uh, aggressiveness between two fish is when I introduced those mystery rats. That splendid dotty back chased those fish, whatever crevice they ran into, whatever behind every rock, he wanted them gone. So, but as you can see right now, they're living in this tank uh, peacefully together now. So what did I do? That's the question. I also have two clownfish. And when that lemon meringue uh, wrasse was introduced to it, they double teamed them. I mean, they were like, you know, the mafia trying to put a hit out on that lemon meringue tank. I mean, those clownfish really did not want him in the tank and they both came at him together. The poor guy didn't get any peace, but uh, as you can see right now, it's like, you know, he's not even in the tank. They don't pay him any mind. But it took a few months for them to uh, come around to that. But uh, again, you know, it's not two tangs going at each other. This purple tang and this yellow tang, they maybe went at it for, you know, you know, a good 10 minutes and my yellow tang say, okay, I'll share the tank with you and that was it. And the same thing when I introduced the cold tang to it. You know, I had another uh, yellow tang in there and he came, went after the cold tang and, you know, after a day he said, hey, I'm okay, uh, I'm okay with it. But I think what helps is a process, having a process and sticking to it. That was my problem in the past. I was always very excited when I'm introducing new fish that I wasn't consistent with doing my process each time. But now I'm just, you know, I just do it you know, no matter what. You know, I just go through the same process and that helps. Uh, the first thing is to, uh, you really, really can decrease the risk of aggressiveness if you 
introduce your fish at night when the lights are out. When once out, you never know when one of these fish they see someone new hit the water, how they're going to react. And they know that fish just made it into the tank. They see it and it comes swimming around and they will come at it and they will have a vendetta against that particular fish. So it's best to introduce the fish at night. So what do you do when you uh, get the fish in the morning then? Of course, you can't keep it in the bag all day. So what I do is just put it in my sump area. Now, I'll take out you know, my refugium if I have some chato there or something, I'll take that out and I would just put an air crate on top of the sump area so the fish can't jump out and I'll leave them down there until the nighttime. And once the night uh, lights goes off, I'll put that fish in the tank and when, he, uh, when everyone wakes up in the morning, you could, it's almost funny because they would just look at the fish strange. Everyone else would start looking at this fish strange as if they're trying to remember if this fish was there yesterday or not. So. You know, they, they kind of wonder, hey, should we be aggressive towards this fish or not? But it looked like he may have been here. He's just swimming around like he's been here the whole time. I'm not sure if he was here when I went to bed or not. So anyway, you know, that tremendously helps in cutting down the uh, aggressive, uh, aggressive, putting them at night. I also use a, uh, the, my best case scenario is to introduce them at night, but also use an acclimation chamber. So I use this acclimation chamber that you just clip onto the side of the tank and I'll keep the fish there a day or two and water is able to flow through it and it gets uh, you know the other fish time uh, to get used to them. So that's what I particularly did for my purple tang when I introduced him to the tank. The first, what I first did was I took the yellow tang out and I know he was to be the most, you know, aggressive one. That's the only one he would have to worry about. So I took the yellow tang and I actually put him in the acclimation chamber and I let the purple tang out after having him there a couple of days and they had a you know, some time to get used to him. I then put him in the tank so he can get used to the surroundings first. So that's, uh, you know, usually a, a big problem when you first introduce uh, a tank. They really have a problem defending themselves or whatever because they don't know where to hide. They're in an unfamiliar place. They're disoriented. And then they have uh, some strange fish chasing them around. And you know, it can be very brutal in that aspect. So. It's nice to sort of take the most aggressive one out, put them in the acclimation chamber. He still can see his surroundings, but you get the other uh, guy, other fish, enough time to get used to the surroundings. And then you know, they're sort of on the evil, you know, even a platform when you finally release everyone out into the water and no one can feel too territorial. And the other, the new fish will feel comfortable enough in the surrounding to defend themselves. So, so that's usually my process. So I, one, I introduce them at night, the new fish, and it's usually into the acclimation chamber. So when they wake up, they just see that new fish swimming around in the acclimation chamber. And there can be some sort of aggression uh, there, but they can't <laughs> actually get to the new fish. So they may try to hit up against the acclimation chamber, but nothing's going to happen. The fish is safe inside of there. And then I usually do that for a day or two. And if there was someone really aggressive, I would usually switch places after a couple days and put the most, catch the most aggressive fish, put them in acclimation chamber and get the new fish time to, uh, get used to the surroundings. And then at night, finally release who's ever in the acclimation chamber, and then watch everyone get along the following morning. So that process has worked most, uh, the best for me over the years. And uh, I have no problem putting in different fish of you know any species inside of my tank. Well, that's it. I hope this is very helpful. If you have other tips uh, that you can contribute as far as introducing new fish, to, to your aquarium. Please leave some comments down and below and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.